Hello art beaters! Becky here for artbeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm explaining all about two hold beads. We're taking a look at all of the different types that you can find at artbeads.com and I'm sharing some jewelry inspiration for how to use these two hold beads in your jewelry designs. So let's dive into the world of two hold beads. So we've got our great bead of the month calendar um, for 2022, where we feature a different bead type or category every month. And this month we have got two whole beads for the month of August. And we have lots of two whole beads to choose from on our website, artbeads.com. You can have a lot of fun shopping all of the different two whole bead shapes. And to go along with this new calendar, which you can download for free and print out and use it to plan your month, We've got a new um, tutorial to go along with it for two whole beads. So I created this really fun pendant with a variety of two whole bead shapes. You've got the Checkmates daggers, we've got some gem duos in there, super duos, ginkgo leaf beads, the flat Checkmates diamonds, there's some crescents up here. I really tried to incorporate as many two whole bead shapes as I could and I think it turned out really good. It's super cute. Um, love, love, love the colors and how all of those beads ended up working together. And I did make a video for how to make this pendant. So you can watch that video and learn how to make it. And we also have the instructions on the website with the link to the video right now. Um, full instructions and a supplies list for this fun two hole bead uh, pendant and choker design. Super fun. So I loved coming up with that fun way to use up a lot of different two hole bead shapes. And we have so many two hole bead shapes available at artbeads.com. So let's take a look at some of these beauties. Let's see. So we can start with the ginkgo leaf beads and I'm going to pick up a a needle so I can pick up some of these and show you. So the ginkgo leaf beads are a really fun shape. They've got kind of like a almost a drop or a leaf shape and they are two whole so you can see that the hole runs vertically up through that petal shape. Super fun shape. You saw I used them in that new necklace. Um, they nest really well together so I used them here in this stretch bracelet design. Um, just nested a bunch of them all together in a really fun stretch bracelet design. So that's really cool. I've got seed beads to close the gaps on the sides and I just did a fun little stripey pattern. So really fun ginkgo leaf beads. Um, all right, so we've got the ginkgo leaf beads. Another great bead she shape is cabochon beads. These are a domed bead. So they, they look like a cabochon, but they have stringing holes at the base of the bead. So you can see those two stringing holes running through the base. And then you've got that domed front. This is a really great shape for adding dimension to your jewelry designs. I've got a couple examples here. Let's see. So we've got this lovely uh, piece that incorporates quite a few two whole bead shapes. You've got the cabochon beads in the center. These are those flat checkmates diamonds. And then you've got gem duos or you can use diamond duos to the sides. And we have a couple different cabochon bead types. There's these checkmates versions, which are smooth and round. We've got the Baroque cabochon beads, which are a little bit more textured. And then we've got these Rosetta beads that look like little roses. And I just love this design paired with super duos and some Toho Demi rounds. Um, super cute design. Love those. So those are our options for cabochon beads. Again, all two whole. We love two whole beads, especially this month. That's our featured bead of the month. Then we have um, brick beads. Brick beads look like little bricks and they have two stringing holes like all the beads we're looking at here today. Um, these are really great to stack and layer up next to each other. I've got some examples here. Let's see. Let me, let me make sure I get all the brick beads. Here we go. So we've got this lovely piece. Um, you've got brick beads in the center layered with those flat Checkmates diamond beads. Um, and I am showing a lot of great inspiration for two whole beads in jewelry today. All of these tutorials, these pieces, these jewelry pieces are available 
at artbeads.com um, with a full instructions and supplies list. So you can find tutorials for all of these pieces on our website. I've got links in the video description, but if you need help finding something, just ask, we can link you directly. Again, this is another fun stretch bracelet option. You've got those brick beads and then some tiles as well, which have the more full square shape and then this is another fun brick bead design they're kind of they're kind of done in a ladder design with seed beads to the side so all kinds of fun things that you can do with those two hole brick beads super fun um similar to the brick beads we've got the checkmates bar beads so similar similar um shape just a little thinner profile and I've already lost track of my needle there it is um, similar profile just a little bit thinner so you could use them in similar ways so you can see that the the bar bead is just a little more rounded and a little bit thinner than the brick bead but they would work really well side by side so that's another great two hole bead option and then we do have that larger checkmates tile bead which is that square shape that tile shape it's got the two holes running through it I showed you that stretch bracelet design and then we've also got a great bead weaving example and a leather wrap bracelet example for tile beads so this piece just gorgeous bead weaving with those checkmates tiles and then you've got um, little Rizzo beads or mini daggers at the end for some fun fringe and then you can also use this style of bead in wrap bracelets, leather wrap bracelets like this one. Um, we've got some fun laser etched tile beads that have been used in this design. So pretty. So that's a fun one for tile beads. Then we have honeycomb beads, uh, honeycomb shaped. You've got that fun six sided hexagon honeycomb shape. And I will show you how these string holes run through these if I can pick one up. Let's get one on the needle here. Yes, so it just runs through the bead on either side, just like that. Um, so really fun, kind of unexpected shape. And in those same colors, we have this great bracelet tutorial. Um, great, they just feel good too. They're really soft and slinky when woven together. And I like how they are kind of spaced out in this design. It's a really unique look, almost like stepping stones. So really beautiful. Love that unique hexagon shape on those honeycomb beads. Uh, lentil beads, Checkmates lentil beads. So they are round kind of coin or lentil shaped. And then the two stringing holes are through the middle of the bead. Um, so you can kind of do some interesting things with this bead shape. We've got this wonderful orchid seeds bracelet tutorial where they're kind of used like spacers almost in the middle of the design. And then you've got some fun seed beads and crystals um, trimming that whole look. So fun. And the pop of silver from the lentil beads just breaks up the color pattern nicely. And then I also used them here as kind of a spacer along with Checkmate's diamond beads in this fun Toho ombre wrap bracelet. I've got all kinds of different Toho seed bead shapes. And then I added in these fun two hole bead shapes, the diamonds and the lentils for just a really fun design. I really like how that turned out. So those are some fun ways you can use the lentil, two hole lentil beads. We've also got the Checkmates triangles. These are really interesting. So they're flat triangle shapes. The two stringing holes are at the bottom of the triangle. So that's going to make them kind of stand out, give you some dimension in your jewelry designs. And I used those here um, to do just that. They really pop out and stand up in this design. I used them with check glass rounds and round seed beads. And then I also paired them with um, the one hole prong beads. So I sandwiched the prong beads between um, two triangles in each of these segments and I do love how those just kind of pop up they make little like they almost look like little flower buds or something um, really cool so there's lots of cool things you can do with the checkmates triangle beads in your jewelry designs they just they really do add some fun dimension to your designs then you've got the Rula beads. This is very similar to the brick and the bar. So you can see it's just kind of a two-hole um, brick or bar shape. 
So look how similar that is to the brick. It's just a little bit rounded, but not as thin as the uh, bar bead. So it's a nice in-between from the bar bead and the brick. You've got that ruler bead. So that's a fun shape too. You can use it in similar ways to the brick and the bar. Um, we've got a great tutorial for using ruler beads all together here. This is our psychedelic snakeskin bracelet. Some really fun ruler bead colors were used here to make this hypnotic chevron kind of pattern and they all um, weave together nicely thanks to that two hole design so that's a really fun one for your rula beads love that we've got the nib bit this is a really interesting two hole bead shape so it's almost like a corn kernel it's it's more of a three-dimensional triangle and the um the stringing hole runs horizontally through that triangle shape. So what's fun here is you could kind of layer these together and do like a alternating look. These would nest up really nicely together, like up and down. That would be a fun look. And then do some seed beads between the alternating pattern. So that's really fun. You could also do them facing the same way and then do a seed bead between that. All kinds of different things you can do with the nib bit two hole bead design. Then we're gonna get into diamond duos and gem duos. So diamond duos and gem duos are um, very similar in look. There's just, they're a little bit different when it comes to the faceting. So take a look at this. So we've got the diamond duos and the gem duos side by side. One's a little more pointed, a little more angular with its faceting, and the other one has a softer faceting. They're both diamond-shaped beads that are a little bit domed at the top, like a cabochon bead, and the um, stringing holes run horizontally through that diamond shape. So these are a lot of fun to play with. And then we also have the mini gem duo shape, which is just... A smaller version of that diamond shape so you could use those together separately all kinds of options there we have a lot of fun um, jewelry designs in our design studio that can get you started with this shape so first off we've got this fun diamond duo bracelet um, super beautiful colors you can see how that diamond shape really nests up well together and those bicones on the end the bicone is another great shape to use alongside the diamond duos um, just all of those angles really nest up nicely together I used the mini gym duos in this bracelet um, super fun with the teacup beads um, they nest up really nicely inside those teacups and make just a really cool look especially with these fun orange copper and turquoise colors it's a really striking design and you can we have so many colors available for all of these beads that you can really have fun switching up the colors that's i really enjoy that i love taking a design and switching the colors to see how different that looks that's just such a fun uh way to approach designs so we've got that and then um, we've also used the gem duos here, the bigger gem duos, in these fun little earrings uh, with some symbol findings that work perfectly with gem duos and diamond duos. They're made to be stitched alongside beads like these. And I just made this fun triangle uh, design for these earrings, super cute. So love how those just really work well together. They're a lot of fun to weave with. Um, really simple to weave with, but they do create an intricate look. So love those. Those are super fun. Um, then you've got the flat Checkmates diamond shape. So this one you've kind of seen a lot in some of the projects I've already shown. It's just a flat diamond shape with the two stringing holes running right through the center. Um, really versatile shape to work with. I already showed you the um, this bracelet here, which features diamonds on both sides of those brick beads, but look how the trim was added, the seed bead trim to those diamonds. I think that's such a fun uh, look. Again, it adds a lot of fun dimension to your bead weaving designs. So the diamonds we use a lot, love those. They're just really unique and eye-catching, I think, in jewelry designs. A really popular shape uh, when it comes to two home beads are the Super Duos. Super Duo seed beads, they've got this pinched oval shape and then the stringing holes run right through them. When you look at them from the ends, they kind of look like little barn owl faces. Um, but from the side, the side you would see in your designs, they do have that pinched kind of elongated oval shape. 
And we also have mini duos, which are the smaller version of the super duo. So just a smaller uh, variation of that super duo. So you could use those together separately, just like the mini diamond, the mini gem duos and gem duos. Uh, lots of super duo inspiration on our website. Um, they nest up really nicely together, allow you to create really interesting bead patterns. So this is an example of the super duos, and then we've got an example of mini gem duos and this fun kind of serpentine diamond pattern. So all kinds of things you can do with these fun two hole super duos and mini duos. Again, you can find tutorials for all of these pieces on our website, artbeats.com. Super pretty, these look good together. You could totally wear these next to each other. So pretty, love those. Uh, tilas and half tilas, those are another really popular two hole bead shape right now. So Miyuki tila and half tilas. Um, a lot of these beads that I've been showing you have all been Czech glass. These are actually Japanese glass. So the maker of Miyuki Delicas, they also make the Miyuki Tilas and Half Tilas. And I love these beads. They're really sleek and just contemporary looking and they work so well together. So the Tila just has that full square tile look and the Half Tila is a little rectangle with the same proportions as the uh, full Tila. So they work really well together. I love both of these options. They're so nice and they're really popular, especially for summer jewelry. Um, they're used a lot, and we do have great examples of how to use those in your jewelry designs as well. Um, I made this bracelet with the Miyuki Tilas, and then I added in some bicones, some demi rounds, um, and it's multiple strands here that are all connected thanks to those two whole Tilas. So they don't really get all loosey-goosey. They're all kind of woven together thanks to those tilas placed strategically. So really beautiful, and I love the kind of Picasso finish on those tilas. Super pretty. So that's a really fun design. And then half tilas, this is a great uh, flat herringbone piece with uh, half teal is at the center. So that's a fun variation on flat herringbone using a two hole bead like the half teal to complete your flat herringbone. So really beautiful. Um, love the Miyuki Tilas and half Tilas. We also have carrier beads. Carrier beads are check glass. They are two hole rectangle beads. Um, and they kind of have this nice, like from the side, they have an elongated oval. They're kind of pinched at the ends. They're like little pillows. And these are great for uh, making peyote stitch bands around. Really nice. Um, and we've done that quite a few times. We've got lots of tutorials for that. This is a Halloween bracelet I made. So I actually have two of the smaller carrier beads um, side by side here, and then I made a really wide peyote stitch band that can slide, so you can get a trick or a treat on each side, which I thought was very cute. So you've got a witch hat on one side, and then candy corn, you've got a ghost, and then a chocolate bar, yum, and then a pumpkin, and just some fun Halloween candy on the other side. And um, this bracelet also features the fun two-hole candy beads. I thought that was appropriate for a trick or treat bracelet. <laughs> um, candy beads, similar, pretty similar to um, the cabochon bead, just um, more rounded on both sides. They look like little M&Ms or Skittles, which I think is why they're called candy beads. So that's another fun two-hole bead shape, which we have right here. So carrier beads and candy beads, those work really well together. You can use them in all kinds of other designs too. The crescent bead is a really cool shape. I love this shape. I'm always wanting to challenge myself and use it more just because I think it's so cool. It is like a crescent moon shape, flat like the diamond, and then it's got the stringing holes running right through that flat crescent shape. Such a cool uh, bead shape. Great for dimensional beading. Um, I used it here in the um in the body of this choker that I made for my two hole bead pendant I sandwiched it between the diamonds I think those shapes are similar in how they function and I really like how it kind of just adds a little bit more dimension adds a little bit more texture um to this design and I the colors here there's some really fun colors with the crescents so I really like the crescents I think they're really cool 
I think you could do some really fun dimensional bead weaving with them. There's a lot of options there. So um, that's the crescents. We've got the two hole daggers, um, which are nice. You saw them in that uh, piece that I was just holding up. You can do a lot with these daggers. They make excellent fringe. Um, in bead embroidery, they work really nicely too. Just another great way to add texture and dimension or maybe even some fun dangles to your designs. And then I think the last thing I have on my tray that we haven't talked about yet are the SO mini beads. I just did a video demo not too long ago um, with the project that we have for these. They're pretty similar um, to Super Duos. They're just a little bit more rounded than the Super Duo, a little more plump, I would say. So the side profile is just a little more plump and a little more rounded. So let me compare with the Super Duo. So you can kind of see, yeah, that the Super Duo is a little, a little more elongated than the SO Mini Bead. And we do have a really great tutorial for how to use that type of bead in your project. So we've got this wonderful snowdrop bracelet. I just did a demo for this bracelet not too long ago. So you can find that um, on our Facebook page here or on our YouTube channel. Um, and I made it, I recreated this with Super Duos actually, so you could see how it looks with both types of beads. Um, really lovely. Love that tutorial. So that is inspiration for the SO mini beads. And we do have other two-hole bead types on our website. We have a lot. We even have some two-hole gemstones, two-hole crystal beads. There are all kinds of two-hole beads on our website, but these are kind of the more broader categories that we offer. So as you can see, there's a lot of options when it comes to two-hole beading. You can do stringing, weaving, embroidery, um, just all kinds of things. And with the weaving, it can be as simple or as intricate as you want. I think there's something for all levels of beaters. And of course we have great tutorials like the ones I just showed you to help you along the way. So that's some two hole bead inspiration for you. Let me know how you like to use two hole beads. What's your favorite two hole bead shape? I think mine, hmm, let's see. What is my favorite two hole bead shape? Hmm, I think I gotta go with the Tila's. Um, I've just been having a lot of fun with them. Um, they're really like sleek looking and so stylish, but I do also love the carrier beads for making really cute little peyote stitch bands with fun designs around those. So um, I think those are my favorites, the Tila's and the carriers. But let me know what your favorites are in the comments because there's so many to choose from. And don't forget to download that um, August calendar for our Beat of the Month. Um, great little monthly calendar for you to plan out your days. August is busy. I've got a lot going on this month, so I'm going to need this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!